Welcome back to Read Only Memories. We have some evidence that we can use to hopefully make Mr. Nova talk. So, let's go speak with him. Here we- Hey! You two! I think I'm gonna have to let security know that you're not allowed back in the building. I've got some stuff that might change your mind about teaming up. <laughs> Doubtful. But let's hear it. Never let it be said I didn't give someone a chance to, to dig their own grave. <laughs> Shows sympathy the picture of, of Charlie flipping off the box of kittens. Has Charlie been having partying problems? Look at this. So what? I like to show people a good time. There's nothing wrong with that. Damn it. I told you to get off the crash, Charlie. Shit like this keeps coming up. I did. And besides, I wasn't doing anything illegal. Anyway, this is just pathetic. This is really your best attempt at blackmailing us? Well, yeah, what about the box of kittens, Charlie? Hey, that's completely out of context. Yes, it is, but... What about the kittens, Charlie? And I love Captain Snuggles. Oh my god, that's an adorable name. Sure, we didn't get off to a good start, but he's a great cat. The best. Charlie. Flipping off a kitten? Why? Whatever, this is still nothing but hot air. You need to step up your game, kid. What about the pep talk? <laughs> You're just grasping at straws. This speech was truly a beacon of light to the entire entertainment community. There's no way an original sermon like that is going to convince anyone that I'm a bad guy. Well, with some creative editing... Alright, so maybe you've got enough to make a bullshit sandwich, which some old rube might eat. But if you go public with this flimsy smear piece, I'm going to tear you apart. Oh, enough, enough! I'm not cut out for this cloak and dagger game sympathy. What's the big deal, anyway? It's not like they've got anything solid to use. I might as well give them what they want so they'll go away. Fine. Whatever. It's on your head, Nova. I'd rather lose out on a scoop than spend my days cleaning up this mess, anyway. Tell them whatever you want. Whew. It worked. Which is good, because it was really shitty evidence. And I'll be taking that evidence. You didn't have to do all of this. I would have helped if you had just asked. But it's always push and dig and needle, isn't it? I'm not a journalist. I'm just an anchor. I read off a teleprompter and look good doing it. I don't have much to offer you, but here's what I know. Trust me, I'd love to lay down some earth-shattering pronouncement and dazzle you with my investigative skills, but all I've got is flimsy threads at best. The thing is, all this stuff with my stories? Stuff getting changed, making me look like I don't like the human revolution or whatever? It started after I had an upgrade made to my VR uplink hardware. Hmm. What kind of upgrade? The technically illegal kind. Look, I like to have a good time at a party, right? But sympathy keeps hammering on me for pounding back too much crash and whatnot. 
Nothing illegal, but she says it makes me look like shit on camera the next day. So I went to this guy I know. Good guy. Everyone uses him. He's called Nanya. He does great work. After just one simple back alley brain surgery, bing bing boom. Back alley brain surgery. That doesn't sound safe. I can use an app to make my VR uplink have the same effect on my brain that the stims do, without all the nasty physical side effects. It could be a coincidence, though. The tech guys can't find anything wrong with my uplink, and they say the modifications check out. But that guy does a lot of work for the media people around here, so if a bunch of posts are getting changed, maybe Nanya's the weak link. Anyway, that's it. Pretty flimsy, but I'll have my ROM pass his address to your ROM and you can go talk to him. If he'll even see you, that is. Thanks for the help, Charlie. It took far too long to get to it, but I'm quite happy to assist in any way that I can. Just make sure you source me in your article, yeah? Maybe run a rough draft past me and I'll give you some quotes. I'm certain that'll help signal boost the story all the way to the stratosphere. Give her the old Charlie Nova bump. Maybe we can smooth out all the silliness between us. Anyhow, I really have to get back to work. Let me know how things go with the with the hacker thing. Okay, that didn't go too bad. I really do kind of like Charlie. He's a pretty cool dude. And who are you? I don't think I've ever looked at you before. June Valmer Anna. Look, it's June Valmer Anna from OK Today. I can point a gun at her while I think she's recording something. That seems like a bad idea. Though charismatic, Fairlight probably wouldn't thrive as a news reporter. Probably not. There's nothing newsworthy or scandalous in the group's own official pamphlets. Is there any chance I can take the good milk? <gasps> I can! Oh my god, I've traded the sour milk, the spoiled milk. For actual milk. I'm gonna take you with me for the entire game. Fresh, normal milk. Not spoiled at all. Okay, I just want to see her ears just go up one more time. Just, just one more time. <laughs> it's, it's so adorable. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. You know, actually, I want to go home. And the reason why I want to go home is because I want to see if I can put the milk in the fridge. I suppose that's one way to get groceries. Yeah! Great, so maybe now it won't actually become spoiled. Because if I just left it in my inventory all day, certainly it becomes spoiled a lot faster than if it was in my fridge. Can I get it out? To see a bottle of mustard and a carton of spoil. A carton of spoil. Sp. 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 Maybe the spoiled milk has one more good day on it. Are you. Are you telling me. Milk! That fridge is a black hole to a culinary pit of death. Never again. Never. Let's get out of here. 
I think we need to go find a priest to perform an exorcism on the fridge. Jesus. This looks like the spot. I'm awfully nervous and still a bit shaken up. Let's hurry and get out of here. Hey, you were at the Hassie Bar, right? Night Witch? And you too. <gasps> Box of donuts. That sounds really delicious right now. But let's look at the rubbish first. Pour some super spoiled milk on the rubbish. There are already clumps of curdled milk visible in the heap. Ew. There are better ways to get rid of headphones. I have 16 different health notifications advising against that, Nelavanda. Mouth to trash proximity should always be kept at maximum distance possible. <laughs> Box of stale looking donuts sits on the ground. Even if they're stale, I'll take them. Donuts are donuts. Their conversation is as stale as their cakey exterior. Well, I'm not going to try to take a donut, because I'm pretty sure they belong to Night Witch. This wrestler is the powerhouse in a local wrestling stable called the Violent Wings. Well, let's try to use the milk. It would be against the rules to bring this in the ring. I like it. <laughs> use it during the fight. Spoiled milk. You should come to our New Year's show. There's nothing better than seeing our bombs away move in person. What are the bombs? Spoiled milk bombs? Because if so, I've got you covered. This is... This is genius. The contrast of the art's colors to the walls. The way the words stretch out. Not to mention the accent and punctuation amplifying the outcry. Who are the junks, and to whom are they unworthy? Turin really is an appreciator of graffiti. A thick grate covers the window, making it look like the outside of a prison cell. Oh, this is the chop shop right here. Chop shop door, garage door, gated door. Oh, that's a cat? Freaking hard to tell, it looks like it's a chameleon cat, blends in with a wall. Bunches of crushed plastic have conjoined with miscellaneous rubbish down near the gutter. Shoot it. The blast from your zapper pistol makes the trash totally disintegrate. <laughs> Can I do the same thing here? The rubbish absorbs the blast without a hint of singe. Damn. I'll need a bazooka for that one. What do you think of this one, Turing? Tough boy is scribbled shoddily on the building in spray paint. It's not very il not very illustrative. Isn't there a phrase people say when they see this? Ome wa moshinidiru? I did not pronounce that right. Uh... Sure, that's the one. All I can do is pet the cat. Let's pet the cat. The kitty starts to sway its tail as you stroke it. Does that mean it's happy? Little kitty squints its eyes and says, Weh. No idea what that means at all. Does it say anything else? Nope. A defiant young wrestler is leaning up against the brick wall. Spoiled milk? Ugh, nasty. Why would you hold on to that? Are those the new model? I didn't know they were out yet. I've been looking to pick up a pair as soon as... I, I mean... Whatever. Con consumer trash. Same as everything else. <laughs> Broke character for a moment, I guess. 
Our aerodynamic assault will rain down on you from the heavenly skies. But first, hey. Yo. Alright, let's see if we can talk to this person. Hold up there, Speedy. Hmm? I've never seen the two of you around here before. And I know everybody. Why don't you let me know what's going on here first before you start barging through people's doors? Feel me? No, I don't feel you, dude. For my hands are not upon your person. <clears throat> Hello? We're just here to speak to Nanya about something. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Just got into town and you're already asking favors from folks, huh? Tisk tisk tisk, my little blue friend. I don't actually know if tisk is supposed to be pronounced tisk. I really can't remember. But I'm gonna roll with it. What? No, it's not like that. Listen, we don't want any trouble, but we're kind of in a hurry. Trouble? There's no trouble here. We can be friends. Mm-hmm. For what price? <laughs> I like this one. You're a little more street smart than your blue bot buddy here, I see. Now, I like you too. You're cool in my book. And since we're all such good friends now, maybe you'll be willing to give back to the community and do a favor for your new pal, Formula first. Wait, is, is that your name? Formula? What kind of a name is Formula? Don't you worry about that. You see, I'm a budding street musician. Working on my next big hit, feel me? But I'm sort of stuck on a few lines. I just gotta get these last few rhymes right. Maybe you could share a little of your creativity with me and see what we come up with. Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> sure. Are you sure about this, Nelavanda? You know how important this has become. Time is of the essence. You don't have time to not help me. Huh? What do you think would take longer? Helping an up-and-coming singer-songwriter finish a guaranteed worldwide hit. Or you could ignore me and maybe I'll send over an anonymous tip to the, to the Neo SFPD. You see, I know for a fact that everything inside this shop here is 100% legal. But I bet whatever you've got on your mind sure ain't. Even if they didn't find anything, it'd take the rest of the day to iron out. People like you don't come down here for anything boring. We clean up good. How well do you cover your tracks when you're in such a hurry, I wonder? This isn't good, Nelabanda. If Lexi in particular gets suspicious and starts tracking us down, things will become rougher for us. Not to mention all of the other people it could indirectly affect. This whole case is life or death. Huh. Kind of a dramatic rom, ain't it? But I made my point clear. If you don't help me out, I'll make sure you never get in to see Nanya at all. He's my buddy. Done me a favor or two, so I return him when I'm asked. That's how we do things around here. Fine. We'll help finish your damn song. I knew you'd see it my way. All you gotta do is help me complete my rhymes. You dig? A couple of them are just missing a word or two. But if I really want to make this song fantastic, I'm gonna need some killer inspiration. It's gonna be super cred. I don't even know what that means. Super credible? You want a credible song? What? Anyway, you ready for this? Hmm. What exactly do I need for inspiration? It's gotta be something I've seen before, right? Uh, a person or something? 
I mean, is Turing creative enough? An inspiration was highlighted as if it was somebody's name. It seemed kind of similar to, like, Sympathy's name. You know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go in. Let's just do it right now. This might be a disaster, but let's do it. Gonna give it a shot? That's what I like to hear. Here's the first line I'm having trouble with. You ready? My favorite season only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of... I'll show you the true... Only comes, only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of... Well, the top three ones seem to rhyme. But we're talking about a season, so let's go with the seasonal thing. My holiday cheer. It's my favorite season, only comes once a year. I'll show you the true meaning of my holiday cheer. Hey, yeah, that totally works. Great idea. Thanks a ton. Here's the next line. Ready? Pay attention now. If you bring mistletoe, you'll knock me off my guard. And if you want my number, I'll... Okay, if you bring mistletoe, you'll knock me off my guard. And if you want my number, I'll... You know, for this one, I don't think words are going to be enough. I'm going to need some inspiration to make it come together. If you've got anything to show me that you think will help me out, let me know. Oh. Why is inspiration blue? That's got to be a hint to something, but I'm really not quite sure what. Can I have a donut? I'm hungry. Wait, those are... Uh... Sure, why not? We're already carrying spoiled milk. <laughs> so wait, they didn't belong to Night Witch? Why were they there? So I just took a box of donuts that was open and on the ground. That was nobody's. Okay. Some stale old donuts from Run Donut Walk. How not tasty. You want inspiration, huh? Maybe you can get inspiration from my beats. If you bring mistletoe, you'll knock me off my guard. But if you want my number, I'll give you my GX Ultra beats? Oh, it's blue because it's supposed to, like the thing I'm giving him is supposed to rhyme with guard, I guess. That doesn't rhyme. Oh man, you totally threw off my style with that one. I'm gonna keep thinking, but let me know if you come up with anything new. Sorry, dude. Guard. Oh, guard business card. Threw me off my guard. I... D... Card. Threw me off my guard. So yo, check out my spoiled... Mard. No, that doesn't work. Pistol? Nah. Business card and ID card work. Brochure. Guard, brochure. No. Mm. Let's go with business card. If you bring mistletoe, you'll knock me off my guard. But if you want my number, I'll give you my business card. Hey, that totally works! Really, thanks so much. I'd never be able to write a song like this without you. A Christmas-themed love song? Aren't those supposed to be pretty tacky? Alright, now I need your help with just one more line. I promise it's the last one. This one's been driving me up a wall. I hope you can tackle it as well as the others. Ready? Here we go. Oh yeah, bring it. This is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a nice pair of scones! <laughs> this is harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a nice pair of... Tones. This is getting embarrassing. There's 
no way to salvage this one without some seriously fresh inspiration, yo. Don't lose hope. I'm sure it'll hit us any second now. Tones. ID card. Tones. Milk. Tones. Headphones. Yes. The headphones. Let the headphones fill you with determination. This is Harmony. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of... GX Ultra... No, don't use the brand name Headphones. That doesn't rhyme. No shit. Alright. Tones? Pistol? No. Tones card? No. Tones brochure? No. Tones donuts? <laughs> no, that doesn't work either. Erm. Um, ride. That's a line, right? Ride. You can ride the... What the hell is the exact line? I can't believe it's not the headphones. Tones headphones. That totally rhymes, but for some reason he uses the brand name. Or like the model name. Donuts. I think we're vibing the same tones. We can ride this beat with a pair of yummy Christmas scones. What? I was thinking scones. That's the original thing I said. I was right. Oh my god. I am a musical genius. Hey, if anybody wants me to write a song and they need some fresh inspiration, come to me. Uh, he does know those are donuts, right? <laughs> now that's what I call a tasty beat. Nom nom nom. That was amazing! Three exclamation marks. I can't believe you pulled it off. One exclamation mark. Whatever you do for work now, it doesn't matter. You should become a musician. We totally become rivals. And I bet you that... Uh, on second thought, keep your day job. This is my territory. You feel me? No, my hands are still not upon your person. But... You did help out in a huge way, so I guess you're cool. Go on in and see Nanya whenever you want. I'll just be chilling around out here, soaking up the inspiration of my surroundings. Here, you can keep the... D uh, scones. It was nice meeting you. For Mula. Hey, you too, little blue bot, little bot blue. Hey, that kind of rhymed. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do that. Oh my god. This place looks amazing. The technology in here. A neon crash sign lights up the front of the beat-up desk. Best to leave as many fuses unblown as possible for now. This white desk has seen better days. Yeah, this one's all dented up like the one at the SFPD office. CRT monitor? That's old school. God, that's old school in 2015, let alone 2060-whatever. What is this? That is known as a CRT monitor. Almost nobody still uses these anymore. They're very outdated. Telling me. God, they weigh like 40 pounds. They're ridiculous. Massive. Heavy. A large circular screen scrolls through available upgrade options and parts available in the store. It's a speech-compatible screen, not a touch-capacitive one. Alright, let's talk to the screen then. Saying one of the available ocular upgrades, allowed, brings up a list of payment options. Ooh, operative sign. 
It says surgery in progress. Oh my. What's up with these wires? A colossal mess of tangled wires sprawls on the floor. As soon as the headphones connect, a loud electronic crackling noise startles you and hurts your ears. Hmm. Nope. Yep. Nope. I don't know you. You got someone willing to vouch for you? If not, get out of my shop. We just met four Moolah. He said we were cool. Moolah? That guy's a hoot. Keeps out the riffraff and fakers, too. But seriously, where did you hear about me? Charlie Nova said I should come talk to you. Charlie? Yeah, I remember him. That TV guy. Runs his mouth a lot. Yeah. Paid good enough. Alright then, what can I do for you? Charlie said your name is Nanya? Sure, if that's what you want to call me. If your credit's clear, you can call me whatever you want. Enough foreplay, what can I do for you? A fresh install, custom firmware, maybe an upgrade? Can pretty much do it all, but most people come in here for VR implants. Turns out brain surgery is expensive, yeah? Uh, we're here on a different kind of business. We're in a bad situation. Local news articles are being mysteriously altered after they've been posted to the mesh, even while the originals are still online. Charlie Nova's are being manipulated as well, and he pointed us in your direction. It didn't start happening until after he had his implant upgraded. What kind of parts did you use for Charlie, exactly? What are you, cops? No. Worse. You're journalists. Get the hell out of my shop. I have a business to run. I don't have time to answer shit about shit that don't get sh that don't got shit to do with me. You found the door before, find it again. I tell Charlie he can get someone else to do him a rush job when he's back on stims and needs a workaround. He ain't welcome around here anymore. Give us a moment, please. I don't know about you, but I'm getting tired of being given the runaround by these meatbags. <laughs> meatbags? We could just find some bribe or blackmail to get what we want from this Nanya. But I think it's time to take matters into our own hands. I have an idea. I keep him occupied for a few minutes. Oh my. What are you planning, Turing? Uh, how should I do that? Just do what you normally do and ask questions. Nothing about the blog posts, though. We don't want to set him off, just keep him talking. It'll only take a minute. Are you gonna get going, or am I gonna have to call someone to make you get going? Hmm. I think we got off on the wrong foot. Damn straight. Now get out of here. You might be on the right track with the cop's idea, Nanya. If anyone was going to hack Charlie's implant, you would have the best access. Are you kidding me? You think you get to walk into my place of business and accuse me of installing malware onto a customer's implant? Fine, bring it on. My reputation is ironclad, and there just ain't no way Charlie's implant was ever touched. 
messing with the firmware would make it light up like a Christmas morning with user warnings. So unless he's been letting someone else dig around in his head, you'll be the one left looking like an asshole. Am I really supposed to believe it's that secure? VR interfaces require a hardline connection to receive input and output. So unless Charlie's been using a headset to route his ROM's HUD through it, there ain't no way to get into it. And if Charlie's installation got infected, I don't see what the hell that has to do with me. Tell him to buy some antivirus software and keep off the sketchy porn sites. The end. Not that you would care, but Hayden died over this. You think we care about your reputation? You're out of your damn mind, robot. I've done nothing wrong. Are we done? Sure. I guess this place really is on the up and up. It is. I'm sure you have all the proper permits and everything. Now you're ragging on my shop? Everything in here is to code. End of story. I'm not doing anything illegal, unless you're some kind of corporate apologist and think factory warranties are sacrosanct. Just because I want to be discriminating with my clientele doesn't mean I'm a crook. Tell you what, how about you get the hell out of my shop, and don't come back without a cop and a warrant. Since you're so concerned about the public welfare. Maybe we'll do just that. Yeah, whatever. You may not know this, but I have a finely tuned sense of electromagnetic fields. All ROMs do. We need to be able to maintain optimal contact with the mesh, uh, catalog and use various wireless transmissions, and avoid areas with dangerously high interference. Your stock off-the-shelf ROM has very little command over the frequencies available to be scanned. But I'm starting to realize how very little of me is stock or off-the-shelf after the changes Hayden made. Okay, uh, how does that help? Van Eck... Wait, Van Eck Freaking is a methodology by which you scan the electromagnetic radiation emitted by the cathode ray tube inside a monitor and recreate the original signal remotely. Meaning, in layman's terms, I can read his monitor over his shoulder while being across the room. Well, some. I doubt I could have handled an LCD monitor. They require extra parts I just don't have. And the fidelity is a bit low. But, we're in luck. It wasn't. Anyways, Nanya looked up his client records on Charlie, and I got some of the names of his other customers off of the spreadsheet. One in particular stands out. Shotaro Atsuka. Atsuka. Shotaru. Let's go with Shotaru Otsuka. Atsuka. I'm totally gonna forget how to pronounce that. But that sounded kind of okay. Shotaru. Okay, that sounds flimsy. As if everything else on this wild goose chase hasn't been? Mr. Atsuka is a moderately prominent tech blogger. Respected. Perhaps a bit vitriolic. He catches my attention, though, because historically he's been very critical of Parallax in his posts. Recently, though, the tone has been increasingly moderate, and now he's almost effusive in his praise. Ah... So he's probably been subjected to the same thing. His fans are accusing him of shilling for the company, but many of his earliest posts show some of the same manipulation uh, manipulations that we saw from Augmented Eye and Nova's blog. Now it's like he's being ghostwritten entirely. Yeah, lead the way then. Couldn't hurt to check, right? I've marked the location for... Shotaru Otsuka's apartment on your map. After you, Nelavanda. 
God, Charlie's gonna be so pissed at me. At least if Charlie ever goes back to this guy. Because if he ever goes back here, he's not even welcome here anymore. We just, like, ruin Charlie's reputation. Let's pet the cat one more time. There we go. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm gonna go track down one of Nanya's other clients.